to get a point out. Andrew Clonell is with the Australian newspaper and he joins us now at the big desk, as does the great Senator David Lionhelm uh, with the Liberal Democrats in New South Wales. Lads, hello. How are we? Good, thanks, mate. Excellent. Jane Hume stands by in our Melbourne studio right now, the Senator from Victoria. We'll get to her in a moment or two's time. I promise there's a picture there. It's not just a giant red dot. Um, let's start with you first, Andrew. Um, you know, much has already been said by, by Matt about if this was somewhere else, but let's imagine this it had taken place in, uh, in Melbourne. A two-year-old kid, somebody had died after an assault multiple days before, multiple times police or family services were aware this isn't a 24-hour yarn and there wouldn't be somebody who'd be still in their job. Yeah, I mean, you'd have front page after front page, enormous pressure on the government and the minister. And, uh, you know, what listening to all this makes me wonder, is the Northern Territory government up to this sort of thing? Are they up to the task of child protection? You know, we, we had in 2007, John Howard sent the army in. He clearly didn't think so at the time, or he and a very emotional Mal Bruff didn't think so. And, um, you know, if, if these things are continuing to happen, you're right that we're all sort of shamed in, in, in not addressing it. You know, like, it, we're, it, it's happening, you know, that there are enough dramas with child protection in places like Sydney and Melbourne, but this is one of the most shocking cases you can hear of. And, and uh, really, um, I thought Matt made a very good point about the Royal Commission into Dondale and the juvenile detention centres, but really that Adam Giles did a good thing in making sure that um, child protection was part of that. But it's this thing where to, Senator, where, uh, Senator Lionhelm, where... <sighs> that that there's this, this fear about talking about it. Instead, we'll talk about the symbolisms of Australia Day. We'll talk about the symbolisms of flags on the Harbour Bridge, all of this stuff. And I don't mind that conversation happening over here, but it has to come with the hard work about the real world, where it doesn't matter what's written in the Constitution. I mean, or literally when the statute says, you know, you can't sexually assault a child, yet still it's happening. And when authorities had an opportunity to stop it, they don't. Mm, they don't. And the reason they don't is because they're Aborigines. Mm. It's racism. It's simple, straightforward racism. If, the, if these kids were uh, any other race, they would be held to pay. There would be screams and yells and, go, and carry on. And the most important thing is the kids would be taken out of that environment so they're not in any danger not in any further danger. Mm. It happens all the time, all around, uh, all around Australia, except when they're Aboriginal kids. It's, it's straight out racism. Mm. All the constitutional um, posturing in the world, all the treaties, all the, uh, all the symbolism that goes on doesn't change anything. We have this issue every year when we have closing the gap. The gap doesn't get any wider and there's a, you know, about two days of, uh, of uh, bleating about it. And then we go back to the symbolic stuff and nothing changes. No, exactly. Senator Hume, look, obviously Nigel Scully and good guy, all the rest of it here, but the truth is, what about that central question? Can the Northern Territory government be, be trusted to come up with a solution when successive governments, even somebody, you know, as involved uh, in his community as Adam Giles has been, still can't move the needle about this fundamental misreading of what their responsibilities are. Yeah, look, I think you're absolutely right, Paul. And first of all, can I just tip my hat to you and say thank you very much for ensuring that this very important issue, this extraordinarily disturbing, disturbing and sickening event, is at the foreground of our discussions tonight and, and every other night. It's really important that people like you that you know, have that megaphone use it appropriately to make sure that we are talking about these really important issues. You're absolutely right. This is a systemic failing of the state in the Northern Territory and I'm not sure whether the Northern Territory uh, government is in fact up to the task. They're certainly not proving themselves up to the task. Um, you know, the most important thing that the state can do, the state has a responsibility, it has an obligation to protect vulnerable children. And it doesn't matter whether they're from remote communities or whether they're from the suburbs of Melbourne, our responsibility is to protect vulnerable children. And the state has failed in this circumstance. Well, uh, I know you've got the chance to go back to Canberra soon. There's party rooms and all the rest of it. Do everything you can to make some noise on the inside as well. And that means uh, the, the conversation we're having out here, uh, Matt.